In the last video, we saw how simple it is to create and run a basic view application using the Vue CLI. Now, it's also really important that you understand the files and the folders present in the generated project and how the control flows when you run the application. Let's take a look at that in this video. I have opened the Hello World project in VS Code and you can see that at the root level, we have three folders and five files to begin with. Let's start with the important bits in package.json. This file contains the dependencies and the scripts required for the project. You can see that we are using view version three and that is listed as a dependency. You can also see that there are a few view CLI and ESLint dev dependencies. We also have three scripts, serve to run the application, build to build the application, and lint to simply fix any linting errors in the app. The configuration for ESLint is present as well. A straightforward package.json file as you can see. Next we have the yarn lock file based on whether you prefer npm or yarn as a package manager you're going to see yarn lock or package lock files they simply ensure consistent installation of your dependencies and you don't really have to worry much about them we also have a git ignore and a readme file the last file at the top level is babel.config.js which is the Babel configuration file. Babel is a tool which transforms modern JavaScript features being used in development code into older syntax that is more cross-browser compatible in production code. The configuration file here has just the one entry for the Vue CLI Babel preset. All right, next let's talk about the folders. The first one is node modules. This is the folder in which all the dependencies are installed. It is generated when you run the view create command or when you run npm install. The next folder is the public folder. This folder contains static assets that are published when you want to go live with your application. It contains two files. We have the fav icon which you see in the browser tab and is nothing view specific. So as a beginner, you only have to concentrate on the index.html file. The index.html is the only HTML file you're going to have in your application. We are building single page applications and this is it. The view might dynamically change in the browser, but it is this HTML file that gets served. Typically, you're not going to add any code in this file. Maybe some changes in the head tag, but definitely not in the body tag. You want view to control the UI. And for that purpose, we have one div tag with ID is equal to app. At runtime, the view application takes over this div tag and is ultimately responsible for the UI. Please make a note of this div as we will come back to it shortly. Let me also quickly increase the font size. All right, that is about the public folder. The next folder is the source folder, which is the folder we will be working with the most during development. The starting point for our view application is main.js. In main.js, we specify the root component, which is app component, and the DOM element which will be controlled by view. The DOM element in our example is an element with ID attribute equal to app. And if you can recollect, that is the element in our index.html file. We call this div element as a root DOM node because everything inside it will be managed by view. For the hello world application, the app component is rendered inside the root DOM node. That brings us to the app component, which is present in app.view. 
Now the dot view file extension, I bet is something new to you if you're learning about Vue for the very first time. We will talk more about dot view files in the next video, but for now, let me tell you that it is a file where you specify HTML, CSS and JavaScript corresponding to a portion of the UI you see in the browser. You can see here we have an image which corresponds to the view logo you see in the browser. And then we have this custom HTML tag called hello world. This hello world is just another dot view file which contains more HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This file is present in the components folder. It contains a bunch of HTML links which you again see in the browser. We call these dot view files as components. Components is a topic which we will deal with in great detail later on in the series. But for now, you just have to know that we have two components, app component and hello world component. The two components represent the view which we see in the browser. Now within the source folder, we also have an assets folder which contains the view logo that you see in the browser. The folder can be used to store images, SVGs, etc. as the name indicates. So that is about the folder structure of a view application created using the view CLI. Next, let's understand the control flow when you run this application. In the terminal, when you run the command yarn serve, index.html file is served in the browser. Index.html contains the root DOM node. Next, the control enters main.js. Here, the create app function imported from the view library will mount the app component onto the DOM node with id attribute equal to app, which is the div tag in our index.html file. The app component contains its own HTML and the HTML from the hello world component, which is ultimately displayed in the browser. And the yarn serve command that you run in the terminal, of course, corresponds to this particular script. Now then, in our source folder, we see this new file type, which is the dot view file type. But what exactly is such a file? Let's understand more about it in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.